going back to the whole gym approach mm -hmm. for looking to develop resilience in our strength like have that then we have to be willing to go back and go back and go back and keep growing in our strength and our flexibility and all of the things that go into that yeah. We have to do the same with our emotions, with our mental capacity, all of it. We can't be so rigid that we can't move. And that's what I'm observing quite often is that rigidity. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that observationally there aren't times when we don't have to, going back to that Captain America quote that I love so much, mm -hmm. like when the whole world is telling you that something wrong is right, when they're telling you to move, you have to plant yourself like a tree and say, no, you move. And I'm sure I botched the quote, but it means so much. Like To me, that quote plays in my head well enough that if I know in my soul that I'm being asked to do something that goes against my moral compass, that goes against my ethics, or my deepest beliefs, then I have to be willing. Even if the whole world is telling me that it's the right thing to do, mm -hmm. if I know in my soul that it does not go with my self-truth, I have to be willing to plant myself mm -hmm. and say, no, I am not doing it. Now, I'm not going to tell you that you can't do it. If that fits for you, then you do it. Mm -hmm. But no, I'm not being forced into something that I don't feel fits my self-truth. No. Because even if the choice is death, I still have a choice. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's, that's, that's the beauty of conviction in, in to me. Like conviction is not rigid. It's the ability to stick to your truth while still bringing in new information. You know, if for some reason, maybe let's say you do have a strong belief in something and you keep gaining information and through that process of gaining information, you realize, oh, wow, you know, maybe I misunderstood or maybe, you know, my, my ideas shifted around this and I, and I, and I, and I want to, want to adopt this new approach. Yes. Okay, you know, that doesn't make you false. That doesn't make you wrong or, you know, any negative term. You know, I think that's, I think that's where, that's the tough part that if it's, it's how, do we, how do we practically apply this to our daily life without, you know, losing face or seeming embarrassed or feeling guilty or, you know, any of these other things that we, we none of us like actively want to feel these things. And in fact, most of us attempt to spend most of our days not feeling any of these things, right? Yeah. But sometimes they happen. And so that's where this idea of resilience as, as a process over a result is more important for us to be able to say, hey, you know, for most for X amount of years or most of my life, I really believed this. But now with this new information and I'm, and I'm applying it to the way that I thought, to the way that I'm evolving as a person and I see a greater picture. And so now I'm going to adjust and that's going to help me be the greatest version of the grandest vision of who I am. And therefore I am enhancing my resilience and I am practicing my resilience and I'm putting that resilience to test through process. That's a great thing. That's a beautiful thing. And I think that's the how, right? Yeah. You started by asking, how do we do that and feel like we're not losing face or mm -hmm. having the embarrassment? I feel like most people, as long as you can come at it from that stance of, hey, I started here. This was what I knew to be true. And I believed it wholeheartedly. But that belief is what led me to understand the next part, which is what led me to understand the next part. And now this is where I am. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, I did believe that. But now this is where I am on my journey. And here's how I got there. Mm -hmm. Most people are so willing to follow that with you. 